Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. On the Ether chart, the un well, the scenarios are basically unchanged. For me, the white scenario is still the preferred one. Remember that we are dealing here likely with a wave two correction. So let's zoom in a little bit. Basically, the wave one finished likely on the 8th, 9th of December. Then we have seen a first wave down or corrective move down, corrective move up, and now we could be coming down in this C wave. So basically a nice ABC structure. However, it's completely, um, it's, it's actually not nice. It's actually completely messy. So we are dealing here with a situation in which we had an overshooting B wave. That's the main interpretation. There's also a more bullish scenario in yellow, which is not my primary scenario, which I also mentioned yesterday. Um, there are some problems with that scenario, um, whereas also the white structure doesn't evolve very nicely, but typically when it's messy, it's a B wave. So all of that comes, you know, comes together here. Um, but also, you know, basically the yellow scenario would suggest that the low is already in, in this correction. But, con you know, if we look at the retracements that have been reached already, I think the price only really touched the 23.6 FIB level. Okay, so okay, it dipped slightly below it, but it never broke below the 23.6 FIB. Now, that to be honest is unusual for a wave two. Very, very unusual. Um, maybe we can actually leave that on the chart just to get a bit of. Um, I think I selected the wrong. Yeah, so just like that. Okay, so it, it just shows you where the 23.6 FIB level is, which is sort of, yeah, it is a Fibonacci support level, but typically way too shallow for a wave two. So I would normally not assume that the price will bounce off the 23.6 FIB level in a wave two correction. It can do, yeah, I mean, there is no rule that a wave two has to go below that level. But really, I would say in more than nine of 10 cases, so maybe in 95% of cases, we would expect the wave two at least to reach the 38.2 retracement, possibly even the 50% FIB level, at least, okay? Wave twos are normally there to scare people and they are normally sharp corrections. Now, in some circumstances, the wave two can be a sideways correction which would be a so-called flat structure in which we can get an overshooting B wave and the C wave may then end somewhere, somewhere close to the low of the A wave. And then for that purpose, I have added the white support zone to the chart and that's measured against, you know, or comparing waves A and wave C. And then we have support between 2,191 and $2,047. At least we need to consider these levels and it might be that the way I had the box set up originally, we may not see the box, but we may see the white one. So that's my primary scenario at the moment. At the moment, the idea is that the low is not yet in and that we are sort of in the middle of the C wave of wave two. Yep, it can still surprise, can still create a bit more mess here, but that's sort of at the moment the expectation. The C wave isn't really coming down in a very impulsive way. So it looks very choppy, looks very much like a like a diagonal again, you know. So I might have to change the wave count um, at some point, the, the microstructure. The yellow wave count is the more directly bullish one. Bear in mind, they are both part of an overall bullish scenario. Yeah, sometimes people start to watch these videos, haven't watched previous videos and aren't aware of our larger time frame outlook, but they are both part of an overall bullish scenario. When you see that I'm talking about a wave two correction, it means that this is basically a corrective wave before a real rally in a third wave should start. The question is just, is this wave two already over or is it still unfolding? And my primary scenario is that it's still unfolding in this wave two due to the reasons that I just mentioned. But it is technically possible that this wave two already bottomed and then the yellow count would evolve here as a one, two, one, two setup. Do I like that scenario? Not really, um, but it's possible. 
so it would be less reliable than the white one in my opinion less probable it will reduce in likelihood even further below 2236 and it will be invalidated below 2187 dollars that's the invalidation point for the yellow scenario because then we break below the beginning of the wave one yeah so if however we now see an impulsive reaction in the support zone of the yellow scenario here 2236 to 2342 is the communicated support for wave two in yellow if we see an impulse from here we see a rally above next 2386 and then the wave one top is taken out at 2445 then the yellow wave count will likely become the primary scenario but for now i see the white count is more probable that's my update about um, Ether. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.